but I mean, there's 32 he teams here. They all want to see you. I mean, what is that like for you? Uh, I want to say they all all see the news. You know, you, but I, mean, uh, I have some other cl class mates that can can play football too. They can play uh, in the NFL as well. So I want to say they all came to see me because you know teams looking for them them. Them gems uh, that people don't, don't talk about, and they could have showed some things like a couple guys that they did a great job in, the, in their position drill. So I wouldn't say they all came out to see me, uh, but you know, mm, having fun with it. Darquez, what has this journey been like for you from start to finish after the Rose Bowl? Uh, it's been long, actually. Uh, actually, then after the Rose Bowl, I went home for a day, seeing my family, and I took back, took off to Florida to start training. So. It's it was a, it's a, it's a long process. Uh, right now, that I got with the first big hump, which was the combine, and I just get just finished this next hump. So I think it's gonna be a lot smoother, a lot less you know stressful, you could say. So I'm I'm enjoying it. What did you like the most about working out here today in this facility back here in East Lansing? I'm comfortable. Uh, that's 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 the main thing. I played here for four years, so I know I know the turf. Uh, also seeing faces that I that I knew uh, with the coaching staff and just. Seeing my other teammates that I haven't seen in so so long, and just seeing all those guys, I'm, I just got back like it was practice pretty much. So I was very comfortable here. Who were, who were the uh, who was the, the group that you worked with down in Florida, and who were some of the other guys that maybe are draft that was worked out with? I worked at a place called XP, Tony Villani, uh in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, a lot of it was about 16 of guys of us. It was uh, Kevin Pryor was there, uh, Marcus Robinson. Uh, Martavis Bryant, Jalen Watkins, uh, Taj Boyd, uh, a lot of guys like that. It was it was kind of a mixed group with Florida guys and Clemson guys, South Carolina guys. We had a couple of North guys uh, from UConn and, and Boston College as well. So I mean, it was a diverse group. But you get some smack talk in there, can't you? Uh, you get a little bit, a little bit of smack talking, a little bit, you know. But some actually, I, uh, Devontae Primo, he was there, so. You really can't talk trash to him, really, because he had the national championship under him. And also, Trey Mason was there as well. He was in the uh, national championship. But, so, I mean, there was, there was a lot of good players there. Or, so, But also, those good good people. So, it was fun. Justin Gilbert said you two sort of become friends. You call him Pretty Boy. I mean, what, what is that relationship like? Uh, it's, a, it's a little funny uh, relationship, actually. You actually got to meet, met, met each other, actually, at the... Uh, at the war show, at the Jim Thorpe war show, him and along with Lamarcus Jr., we all got came close because we spent three days down there and we all just had fun. We went to Disney, what's, what's that, Disneyland or Disney World. We all went there with. Uh, so I think uh, with that relationship, it's, it's it's funny. I mean, we always joke joke on each other. We have fun with each other. So I mean, I just talked to him actually the other day. So I mean, it's fun. It's just it's just really relationships you build with uh, a long past football. So, I mean, I, not only Justin Gear, my friend Justin Gear, but also friends with a lot of other guys that play the cornerback position. So, it's, it's just cool just to really just meet to meet the uh, the player under the helmet, uh, you, you could say. So, it's, it's been fun. Are there any other, are there any teams you're talking to more than others? No, I'm not really. I'm talking to all of them the same, I think. Uh, so, I, I really don't know who's interested. What sort of feedback did Mike Tomlin give you today? Uh... You know, just a general feedback, really. 